everyone. So a hat trick of assists for Henrik Mkhitaryan, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang off the mark, and five goals past Everton. Our Arsenal back on track, gents. The men, the legends from Toffee TV. I apologise that we have to talk about this. Um, it's not like we've done. It's not like you haven't just spent all day no. covering this. No. I, I mean, what, were Arsenal that good? No. Or were you that bad? Bad. Done that. See that, but I'll open in my mouth. I got it. <laughs> Quality. Um, it, it was a bit of both. Arsenal were good. Everton were horrendous. Really. And when you give a team like Arsenal all the space and time to to knock it and run after it and pick people out. They're going to destroy you and pretty much what they did for the yeah. second time this season, by the way. It's, it, it, um, Sam Allardyce kind of set himself up for this a little bit, didn't he? What was, his, what was he saying? That they don't score goals? Yeah, can't score goals. Can't score goals and the weak defensively. So we play five at the back and one up front. <laughs> <laughs> and there's your scoreline. So, yeah. It's almost like he was talking about us. It, it was... <laughs> Maybe he's not gotten used to us saying no. us. Like it's so, it's such a fr- it's such a fresh thing. What would, what what was what was the Mkhitaryan and Obama Young thing like? We'll come on to the no, idea. no, just honestly, I couldn't tell you how they played. I don't watch games of football to watch the opposition. I just couldn't tell you. Yeah, I have no interest. They the other, one of, one of them scored an offside goal. That's all I know. Honestly, I don't I have no idea how they played because I just watch my rabble of shite. I can tell you how shite we played. Go on. Um, but we were, well, we were fucking shite, weren't we? Oh, I thought you were asking let's, let's be honest, we were Go on. A- absolutely yeah, terrible. Mkhitaryan, was, he played quite well, actually. He wasn't he wasn't in it all the time, as you'd expect. He's a player who drifts in and out of the game, isn't he? And Aubameyang wasn't in it a lot, really. In fact, the second half, I'm not even sure he touched the ball in the second half, but he, a couple of times he got into a sprinting. You've seen how quick he was. His goal... Look, he was miles offside, yeah. and it shouldn't have been allowed, but his finish was absolutely fantastic. But, again, it's easy for the likes of Mkhitaryan to be good when you're playing against someone like Snyderlin, who basically doesn't move. He's the one, because you, know. you get a lot of like stuff from other clubs via osmosis, via social media mm-hmm. and what have you, and Morgan Snyderlin seems to be the one who's come out with the most... I say criticism, is that a problem? Well, he's the chief cunt, isn't he, let's be honest. I'm not going to mix me words here. He's a, wow! He's an absolute. Go on, turn up for the box. He's mate. an absolute fucking shitbag. Really? Of a, of a footballer. Is, does he? Is, it, is he the one who wears the number two? Yeah. yeah. Shit. So he sent some players. Should have known. Should never wear number yeah. two. Had a chance to change it in the summer, didn't. Bell end. Yeah. I mean, what we saw in the build-up to the game was Arsenal fans. There was a little bit of the division in the ranks. Some of them talking about protest, continuing protests around, you know, the ownership around Arsene Wenger and what have you. You had a, a, another group saying, like, now's not the time. I think it's in, it's interesting for me watching some of the, you know, some of the, the names that are more famous, of some of the Arsenal fan TV lads, who are the ones that are, have been, look, every week talking mm. about getting them out and you know and then they've signed a couple of players and I think that, I don't I don't know where, where would you stand apart because you're I think you're more, you're more level headed than most and they've just they have just gone out and you know they've refreshed the side they've gone out and bought some really you know some two mm. really really good players yeah. there do you understand that it well, would you would you put a, put the brakes on criticism of the manager to see how it goes or do you, or is it worth or do you carry on regardless I think it's difficult when you you want your club to demonstrate something. Obviously, they're, they're disappointed that Alexis has gone out the door and you will be, but I think everybody knew he was going, didn't he? You know, in some respects, they should have tried to get that deal done in August and just get him out the club. Um, as good a player as he's been, fantastic for Arsenal, but when a player wants to go. But they've lost him and they've brought in. You know, Walcott's gone and, and obviously we're the beneficiaries of that. Um, but they've lost those two and Giroud as well, but they've brought in, like you've just said, Aubameyang, fantastic, and Mkhitaryan. You know, if you can get a tune out of him regularly, it, it makes their team stronger. They are but, they are at that point of they're at the point of no return in the season, I think. And that's yeah. why that result was massive for them at the weekend mm. because you can't afford to slip any further down, and particularly because that's the first real chance to see both of those lads in the side as yeah. well. And to get that kind of reaction, look, you just, you just give them a you just handed it to them to, to yeah. some extent, like but um I think that that's exactly what they need at this point because you know another another defeat or more drop points and you lose that bounce. I think yeah. of 
is the new lad, is the new shiny things. You want them coming in and flying because sometimes it just takes that, you know, that 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 crest of positivity yeah, to carry through. I think through. the thing with Arsenal is they're away form, isn't it? They're still very very strong at home. You know, they they were four 0 up after a twenty past three last time. They were out against Palace. They've they've bounced us from Palace in the last couple of games. I think they beat Chelsea in in the they got the League Cup final to look forward to having they? away from home. Obviously, Swansea wasn't great for them, you know, and that's the latest thing. And I think I think as an outsider looking at Arsenal. Going that way, they're great, but they're always great. Yeah. But it's it's when you sit there and look at they just have an address for me, a central midfield player who who will go and you know really break teams up. They've never. You don't need to be a genius to realise they've never replaced Patrick Vieira. Yeah, you know that was in the, the fantastic Arsenal sides, and I think centre back as well. They've got Koscielny, who was a good player. Mustafi is a bit up and coming. He nearly got caught in the first yeah. minute trying to do a Cruyff, you know, with with. You know, on the edge of his own box. So I think someone there as well, right down the middle, and checks a little bit. As, as good a goalkeeper as he still is, he's, he's another one prone to mistakes. But yeah. when looks, you're looking at it, how come Wenger not address these issues? Yeah. It's everything going the other way. He does way, it every, every window as well, though. Mm. He does it every window. He just ignores the 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 the, 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 the obvious, doesn't he? Well, I, I've said this loads of times. I just I don't don't understand. You know. That Arsenal fans don't press for that more yeah. often. I think that the the general just I did a video on on my channel about the Aubameyang signing, and I was looking very very jealous. I think he's a tremendous player. Mm. I think any team would be lucky to have a player with that yeah. kind of quality. So many Arsenal fans coming back to me saying, "Great, but where, who, why is he not addressing the defensive issues?" And is the thing I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure you're going to fix an entire side's problems in a January transfer window, of course. But then, as you say. This is not a a new problem. Yeah. This is not something these not had windows to to address. So it is interesting. Arsenal fans, if, you, if you're watching, I'm interested to know what you, what your feelings are on this because I, I guess the overriding issues still remain. That the, the discontent with Arsene Wenger has not vanished because a couple of players have been signed. And you know, do you think it would be right to continue on with pushing towards getting a new, a new manager? Is it even worth it? You know, at all, given how, how well he uh, entrenched he is in that football club, or is there very much a well? Look, let's take a step back. Let's see how things unfold with the with the new guys. Because look, here's the thing, Pat. No, no, sorry, but here's the thing. They are at this point now where, <laughs> let's say it all it goes to t you know it all goes to t and, the, and the fans do mm. turn and they do turn on the team vocally mm. in and around the games. Well, look, they, you know, I don't know how you recover from that because there is an opportunity and there is a lot of pressure on them to get back into the Champions League. I don't, I don't understand why that makes should make a difference. If you've got a problem with the people at your club who run the club. Why? What? What difference should it make where you are in the league or what you're doing? If you've got a problem that you think is a fundamental problem that runs all the way through your club, what does a few results matter? This is what annoys me of football fans. They're all, they're all they're on there every week moaning about stuff, and then when the when it comes to the crunch, a couple of wins or a couple of signings keeps them happy. We're all guilty of it. Let's be honest, as football fans, we're as fickle as each other. But I just think if you're going to go for it, go for it. It doesn't matter what the situation. In fact, this is the best situation because I just think that they're not going to get Champions League. They're not going to finish any lower than sixth. So it, this for me is the time where they should they should be making it known. But I think the messages are so mixed from the fans. It's Wenger, it's the it's the it's uh, the owner, it's this, it's that. Make your mind up and just have a clear, precise message but, of what you're complaining about. But if they could finish sixth, win the Europa League, and win the the League Cup, and they're in the Champions League yeah. next year, and he's won two, they can only play four trophies. No, absolutely. If Arsenal win fifty percent of the trophies that they enter, then why? Well, Arsenal was making what? this point of the week, wasn't he? In the, in the uh, saying that. No, with three FA Cups in four seasons or whatever, and no one seems to give them the the, the, the credit for I it. I quite happily take that. <laughs> Would love that. The only problem with it, because we Liverpool had, and we had, look, God, I'd love a bit of software <laughs> at Liverpool. It's, it's you know becomes very too long very quickly, um, but that's there's a, that's what happens is that you start to put too much value in FA Cups and but, and, and and UEFA Cups. Yeah, but if they extent. win the Europa League and they're back in, Jose Mourinho yeah. won it for United last year and yeah. and what the second in the Premier League yeah. this year. I'm not saying they should they should keep Arsenal Wenger because obviously, listen, there's only so many times you can build a team at a football club before the players start going. I've heard everything you've got to say. Yeah, I've heard it now, and that's gonna. The Premier League is all about percentages, and if you drop. 
one, 2%, it damages you very, very quickly. And that's all Arsenal do sometimes. They, they play fantastic football. They play, you know, Liverpool, well, Man City. Technically, you know. but point wise, they didn't even drop a percentage last season. It was just that the teams around them went up that right, one, gone that up, 1%. And it's just, it, I don't know. I, I think you come into the time where he needs to be replaced anyway. He's done an unbelievable job there to have them so high up for so long. But it, once, you're, once you're that close to win and stuff and you don't, it's easy to see why their fans then will become frustrated. And just quickly, Sam Allardyce, Everton, I mean, you, you've gone out, you've, you've bought some additions in, in in January, he's been given the money to, to do stuff. I, uh, do they look like the right signings? I mean, look, Theo did well the other, the other week, got off, the, got off the mark, didn't he? It doesn't really matter the right signings or not, does it? Because he doesn't, doesn't really have a style doesn't have a way of playing a team. Just he comes out and moans after the game without saying, um, you know, he, he had a plan. Well, how can you have a plan? How can you, how can you win a game on a Wednesday, then change how you play, change a large amount of players, bring a lad in who's only had a day's training, and say, I expected you to do something against Arsenal. That's not going to happen. Yeah, you're passing the book without without laying. Yeah, for me. Any, any, anything that he had laid in his first couple of weeks as manager or first month as the manager, he's, he's, he's just thrown it out the window. And effectively what he did on Saturday, he just gave the game up. Before he went in, he'd obviously decided he wasn't really interested. Because I can only put that down because to play five at the back against the team, that if you want to beat them or if you want to get a... You have to get amongst them in midfield. You put five in midfield, you're going to do anything. Yeah. And you, you have you have destructive players to break, to not let them get the momentum. Because once they're around the box, they're such a dangerous team. As opposed to the self-destructive players that he went with instead. Well, exactly. Yeah. For me, for me, he's yeah. given the game up. He's not interested. He's not, he did, was not interested. It was all faux anger at the end. He mm. was not interested in getting anything out that game. So next week against Palace, it's a game for me that you're playing someone that's in and around you, that if you beat them, you get a little bit away. From from them, you know, no, that's no going to be a belter of a game. Bear in mind that I, you know, I've experienced first hand day Roy Hodgson versus Sam Allardyce game when when one of them managed yeah. our football club when it was the Absolutely fucking cool. worst football match I've ever seen in my life. So well, we've seen a few of them this season, um, lads. Uh, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to down, but listen, drop a like on this video and it'll it'll translate digitally through to a it smile. Won't, it won't make one like feel equals any... one smile no, prepared. In nonsense, you're talking <laughs> absolute nonsense. <laughs> Send checks if you want me to smile. <laughs> so, uh, what will definitely make them smile is if you drop a subscribe on the Toffee TV YouTube channel as well. Uh, if but don't be coming over to mock us. Only, only come and subscribe if you're mm. interested. Absolutely. Don't want that. No, don't want you know your Jag subscribers. I can go to Korea and buy loads if I really want <laughs> Jag subscribers. South Korea. South. No, no, North Korea. <laughs> no, yeah, loads cheaper. Of, no. <laughs> it's cheaper. The less socially engaged. Exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, they don't forget. Won the to, don't forget to send <laughs> Absolutely. For the third year on. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Listen. Don't forget to subscribe to all the channels uh, of us because it's nice. It's a nice thing to do, isn't it? But most importantly, subscribe to the Ball Street Channel. More great social club content this week and going forward as well. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Ta -ra.